Hey, so for a while people have been asking me how to make edits and customize Chandelar. So I figured I'd do a video on that. Now, uh, what you can and can't do is going to be heavily dependent upon what version of Chandelar you have. Uh, you might have the base version, you might have a version that somebody's tinkered with, and uh, there are different things available in the folders and directories of the installation. Now, uh, this video, I need to specify, is strictly for educational and historical software purposes. I cannot help you obtain any kind of software. Uh, so you're on your own as far as that is concerned. Um, that being said, one of the things that you can do in all versions of Chandelar is modify enemy decks, which is one of the most fun things I think there is to do to make your own kind of custom version of the game that you're playing. You're not stuck with um, the base uh, decks that came with the original game. So if you pop open the Chandelar install directory, you're going to need some basic computer usage skills to be able to figure out how to do this, but if you can modify a text file, you can do this. And you can see in here in my install, I have a ton of different deck files, uh, folders really, uh, different versions of um, enemy decks that would populate into the game when you run it each time. And it's always looking for this decks folder. These ones are extra ones that I've worked on or that other people have worked on. And if you open up decks, you can see there's about 60 different files in here. Each one of these correlates with an enemy in the Chandelar game. And they have to remain named this number. Uh, you can't rename it to like Sorcerer or, you know, Green Wizard or something like that. So it makes it a little difficult to keep track of. Now to edit these, these are basically just like simple text files and I recommend getting Notepad++, which is a free program that makes it easier to edit this kind of stuff. You might be familiar with that if you do any kind of like web design or programming. Okay, so here you can see I opened up the 0010.dck file. It's one of the first ones in there and you recognize right at the top it says Lord of Fate. Now, the Lord of Fate, if you remember, that is one of our enemies from early on in the game. This is the guy, the knight rides around on a horse, and he's a black creature, I think, and he has uh, typically white and black cards in his deck, which you can see here he's got 11 plains, 11 swamps, dark ritual, castle. Uh, and then this essentially is three columns of information. The first column there is the card ID, as it corresponds to the database in Chandelar. The second number is the amount of cards of that particular card that are in the deck. And the third is the name of the card. And it needs all three of these in order to work. And if you, for instance, like left a period off, it's gonna not load this row and or do all sorts of other wacky stuff. So it is very specific. <laughs> Uh, when you're editing this, make sure you don't make any mistakes. And please back up your files before you go editing these. I'm not responsible if you inevitably break your game by trying to do this. Make a copy of everything. But let's say I want to modify this uh, deck here. So let's say I think Yoshin Soldiers are kind of a boring and annoying card. And I don't want to have those in the deck. So I'm going to edit that out. And now when you play the game, he won't have those in there anymore. But maybe there's some other card I want him to have. So I'm just going to open up another random deck. Okay, opened up Wing Stallion. And let's say I want my Lord of Fate to instead have Dancing Scimitar. Let's drop two of those in his deck. And let's give him Holy Armor. And how about Howling Mine? That's literally all you have to do. So now when you start a new instance of uh, Chandelar, and actually this will work live, like if you're playing an existing game and you go in and edit the deck, it loads the deck data every time you open Chandelar, so you can actually edit as you go. But now... Uh, when you play against a Lord of Fate, he's going to have this updated deck. And there's actually a visual editor within Chandelar that you can also use to kind of, um, you know, like when you go in to modify your own deck when you're playing Chandelar, you can use that to modify enemy decks as well. 
and it makes things a little bit easier if you're trying to do some creative deck building on the fly uh, where you don't have to worry about knowing the card numbers or knowing the quantity. It's a little tricky because you have to save it to an external file and then copy and paste it into this file. Like for some reason with the editor, you can't just like open this file up and then use the graphical editor and then save it. So there's an extra step in there. But that option is available for you too, which I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, down here at the bottom, these are cards that are in the sideboard. Those sideboard cards, the game will use automatically depending on what kind of cards you're using to play against your opponent. So if you have like an all black deck, then it might populate some of those like anti-black cards into your opponent's deck when you're playing against them. That is hard coded and I don't know exactly how it does that. Uh, most of the time I don't even really bother messing with that. So if you're back in your directory, there's this deck.exe program you can run that'll open up the graphical editor. There's also a way to do it with a command prompt where it'll know uh, to only use cards in the editor that appear in Chandelar. So if you enter in this command, uh, chandelar.exe dash dash deck builder, that'll open the deck builder up. And that gives us this window here, which we'll recognize from playing Chandelar, this is the same deck editor you use in game to modify your deck. So what we want to do here, we have to put at least 40 cards into the deck to get it to save. Okay, there we go, 40 cards. And I'm gonna save this as Chandelar Test Deck 1, 2, 3 so I can find it. And that should now be saved in our play deck directory inside Chandelar. Uh, so if I can find that now, yep, here it is. And let's hide the deck editor so we can see that again and close the command prompt. Here's our deck where we saved it. We can open this up with notepad. There we go. And now we see it generated this text file with all the cards in there that we want. And we're going to go back to the Lord of Fate paste this in and save and now the lord of fate will have this custom deck that we've made next time we run chandelier but that's just the beginning and really you can go through and edit all of the enemy decks to create your own version of the game it's a lot of fun you can get really creative with coming up with new deck ideas and make you know really unique playthroughs of the game other stuff you can do you can actually go in and modify the music files as well they're just sitting in the base directory slash music as wav files so if you can create a WAV file, you can place that in that directory and it'll automatically load into the game. I actually created my own whole unique soundtrack for the game at one point, but I got kind of bored with it after playing so much that I just reverted back to the original uh, wonderful Chandelar soundtrack. You can make custom sounds. Some of the sounds in the game I think are really annoying and I actually went in and like erased those, which you might notice if you're watching me play. You can also edit the chandelar.ini file, and that's where you have access to uh, which cards appear in the game. Like, if you wanted to remove all of the Arabian Nights cards, you can filter that out, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, because that's, like, one of the best expansions. Personal taste. But uh, you can also edit the cards that appear in dungeons as conditions. You can edit the cards that appear as treasures in dungeons which you may have seen from watching my playthrough. I have all those customized and we're gonna get into how to do that too. Another thing that's very heavily version dependent. So depending which version of Chandelar, you're gonna have more or less options when editing the INI file. One thing we're not gonna talk about is adding new cards because one, that's above my skill level. The game's programmed in the C programming language, I believe, and I don't know how to program in C and it's extraordinarily complex trying to add new cards. So don't plan on being able to do that unless you're like a master level programmer. And there may also be intellectual property issues with doing that too. So I would just advise not doing that for that same reason, as I mentioned before, I'm not able to distribute the game. Um, I'm just doing this for entertainment and historical purposes of the evolution of this wonderful software that we all love so much.
But with that, uh, I will be back with more videos for you soon on how to do those extra things. And thanks for joining us. And we're going to get another Chandelar run going here sometime soon.